Hi everyone, Joe here. I'm here to tell you all about the Tech Disc, what it does, how to use it, and how I plan on implementing it into my practice as a professional disc golfer. The Tech Disc is a small unit of sensors that is attached to a disc and it gives you immediate feedback on your throw. These sensors measure your speed, spin, wobble, hyzer angle, and launch angle. The best way to use your Tech Disc is to just throw it into a net so that you don't damage the sensors and then you're not walking hundreds of feet to go grab your disc to throw it again. It connects to either an app that you can download over at the App Store or you can connect it to Mac OS or Windows. The way that I'm going to use the Tech Disc is to improve on my consistency as well as my accuracy and I'm gonna see if I can use this data to measure how accurate and consistent I can be out on the course and where I need to improve. Okay, so let's get into the throwing. I think I'm gonna measure 10 throws to measure my consistency and I'm gonna talk about all of the different points that I wanna work on. For my speed, I want to be higher than 50 miles per hour. For spin, I want to be above 950 RPMs. For the wobble, I want to keep it below five degrees. For my hyzer angle, I actually tend to throw a little bit ante, so I want to keep my hyzer angle above 0 0.1 to 5 degrees, just to work on my hyzers a little bit more. For the nose angle, I'm aiming at keeping it below zero because I do want to throw nose down. And for the launch angle, the launch angle is the trajectory of the flight of the disc. I want to keep that one in between zero to six degrees so that I'm not throwing completely straight down at the ground. I'm throwing kind of up into the air, but nose down at the same time. So for now, I'm gonna get my 10 throws in and get a benchmark to see where I'm at. I have done some research and some looking at the video as well as looking at the stats from the tech disc and I'm I've written some notes here and I'm gonna kind of go through my thoughts and where I saw some errors in my throw and my form and things that I could work on using the tech disc so the first thing that I noticed is that my back left foot was almost pointed backwards and I think that if I had my back left foot and my right front foot like almost parallel to one another, I think that I could get a lot more hip rotation, which in then turn would give me a lot more lower body power into my arm in my power pocket swing. So I think that that's something that I could do to increase my speed also, which would be awesome because I'm hitting that like 50 to like, I don't know, 55, 56, 57 mile per hour range and which is good but I really want to get up to 60 that would give me way more power and probably more distance so that's something that I noticed as well as my consistency for my launch angle I noticed that my launch angle is actually almost always in the negatives so the number for that ended up being way below what I had hoped for being in the negatives means that I'm kind of throwing almost into the ground which is my nose angle is really good. It was always in the negative, which is something you want. You want your nose to be down, but my trajectory of my launch angle was not up into the air. It was more so like flat to like almost into the ground. So that's something that I would want to work on. And I think by doing that, it is probably like a way that I could fix that is probably just by my release angle. So if I'm releasing higher up into the air, then I think that I could um, fix that problem a little bit. Almost 
same with my hyzer angle. I noticed that my hyzers were actually not that consistent. And that is a, a shot that I'm working on is just consistently throwing hyzer. My miss is actually tending towards like almost any or flat, which can turn a lot of discs over. So I'm trying to work on my hyzer angle. It might not be the same for you. That's just for me. And I think that if I do work on that release angle and work on throwing and having my arm release up higher, I think that would definitely help my hyzer angle. After looking at the video, I noticed that my X step has a little hop in it still which I thought I corrected from a little while ago, but obviously it is still pretty bad. When you have a hop in your throw like that, I find that the momentum ends up getting kind of cut off. You're using your momentum to go upwards versus forwards on the tee pad. So that's kind of eliminating some of my power. And another thing that I noticed is that my legs in my X step are so spread wide apart, which again, I can't turn my knee in and really get my hips to rotate. So that's something that I noticed that I could work on as well. Another thing that I saw was that my timing is actually almost good, but it's not quite gr great. Um, you can see that when I'm reaching back all the way in my reach back, my plant foot hits the ground like right before I'm fully reached back. And you kind of want those two things to be working side by side. And it's almost there, but I think that I could get it even better. So that's something that I would want to work on is getting that timing just nailed down. The last thing that I wanted to note is that I'm not fully centered onto the tee pad. I noticed that I am kind of facing forward or leaning forward over top of the tee pad, which I think would also explain why my launch angle is kind of going down because my release and my follow through is going forwards, right? And so I think that also explains why I tend to have a little bit of an ante swing because my arm is going down, my body's facing forward off of the tee pad, and I'm leaning way too much over the tee pad. And I think that if I just have a more centered approach and I'm just kind of, my posture is a little bit centered, I think that would help my hyzer angle as well as my launch angle. So to conclude, this is how I plan on using the tech disc to improve on all of these goals that I had listed here. I really think that the tech disc is going to help me improve my consistency and accuracy. So I'm going to be continuing making videos just to see what this data can give us like information wise. And I'm going to record all of that for you guys. So stay tuned for those videos. But also in the meantime, if you have any tips or tricks on things that I could use to implement or strategies or different drills that I could try, please let me know because that would be super helpful to me in this progress. So thank you guys so much. If you guys want to grab a tech disc, I will have a link in the description so that you can check that out. And thank you guys so much for watching and liking and commenting, subscribing, all those YouTube things. It really does support our channel. So thank you so much for being involved and I will see you guys in the next one.